Hello viewers and potential subscribers, I'm Unknown Emerald and today I'm coming up with a tutorial on how to script and add effects on Halo 5 Forge. So let's get to it. Over here I have a switch. I can interact with the switch and it makes this platform go down. How do I do that you may ask? Let me show you. You go to object properties, you go all the way down to scripting, you add a script and in this case I want it to be interactable so I set condition to on interaction. I wanted to send a message to channel alpha so I go action, message send channel alpha. Over here I have a platform, I go again to object properties and I set it to channel alpha, same channel and I wanted to receive the message from the interactable switch. Then I wanted to move offset, so action move offset and then I have the options to move it to whatever direction I wanted to move. Over here I actually have another switch and that lets the platform to go back up. So this is the exact same thing but in this case I also made the switch interactable uh, and actually sends a message to itself to move upon um, send, uh, sending a switch which is pretty cool. So let's get to the next one over here. I have a door. You may think to yourself, oh this door is just going to open and close isn't it? Well you are correct, it is going to open but in this case it's going to open with some smoke. This is really cool, you can make smoke spawn in, you can make anything spawn in which is really nice. The only thing I do not like with smoke is that if you make it despawn it disappears. It doesn't blend away, it just, it just straight on disappears which I do not like. When you kind of switch it on, when you spawn it in, it blends in very nicely but in this scenario when you despawn it, it just completely disappears. So I suggest that if you want to have smoke on your map to spawn in, just leave it in. Just leave it in and don't have it despawn later on. That's my suggestion. <laughs> Moving on, I, over here I have a rocket launcher on top of the platform. I press the button and it makes this platform go up, making the rocket launcher unaccessible. Those kind of things can be applied to pretty much any kind of Slayer map or any kind of mini game of some sort. So let's say someone's going for a rocket launcher, you can be a troll and just be like, nope, I want to have the rocket launcher to myself. I press the switch and I access it from a different point on the map. Moving on, last but not least in terms of scripting, you do not have to use an, like a visible switch. You can go ahead and add an invisible switch. So over here I have a switch on the car. If I go back to forge mode, you can see it's actually an invisible switch. Once again, the action, uh, the action for it is to uh, move offset. And this one is channel India, so I actually use the quite a lot of channels over here, which is <laughs> pretty nice. So that was pretty much it for scripting. So with the smoke, once again, I go into object properties. I go to condition, receive a message from channel Charlie, and the action for it is to spawn in. So it's a very simple scripting thing. I hope that came in useful, and you can do a lot of different things of it, like this platform over here, for example. You can make it go back and forth. You can make it go pretty much all the way across the map, which is really, really nice. Moving on to special effects, one of my favorite things of Halo 5 so far is that you can add special effects. Over here I have two different ones actually, I have smoke and inside the tree I actually have ambers. So it's two different smoke effects um, combined and it really really adds to it. Combining two effects just makes it all like makes a, such a big difference like if it was just white smoke it would be nice but it wouldn't be as nice with the black smoke, it's just so much better. Over here I have some fire and the cool thing with fire when you come too close to it, it actually burns you, it can kill you so it's pretty cool you can add some kind of things like that to mini games so you can definitely do a lot of things with this. And over here I kind of found that out when I was doing this tutorial, this is actually an upside down tree which is pretty cool so upside down it looks like a very scrubby bush so it does look pretty cool upside down. and. Over here, some very simple things actually, I have some blocks that are merged into the ground to make it um, kind of a bit ni look a bit nicer, so you can do quite a few things with, with that. And over here, another very simple uh, special effect is dust. So I have dust over here and it just looks so nice. It just shows you that you're not allowed to go there, if you go there you're gonna die. So you can add this kind of things to some kind of slender game maps or something like that. Something that requires a lot of shadowing, like a lot of um, kind of eyesight blockers and such. So this kind of thing can be applied and this over here is actually something very simple, it's just dust. Drifting medium, so this looks really nice. Even from a distance it just looks marvel marvelous. And last but not least in terms of special effects, uh, in terms of dark corridors and such I decided to add sparks and they just fill in the room and the cool thing of sparks they fill it in for like a second and then they disappear. 
So let's say there's an enemy like right over there, you don't see him until the sparks come up, which is really, really cool. It adds a lot of nice atmosphere to your map. And then again, I just have a forklift, that's a prop, and I just made this whole place kind of dark by adding uh, blocks, black blocks around it just to make it look so, uh, a little bit darker. So, I hope this tutorial came in useful. Um, you can really do a lot of different things with it. This is just like scratching the surface. You can do so much more with it. So, if you like this tutorial, give this video a like. Share with your friends. Subscribe. Tell me what you want me to do next in comments. I can do other tutorials if you want me to. And I'll see you guys next time. So, see you.